this is um, Team Shockwave with a deck profile on a deck that we're playing um, for the sneak peek match with this new card, the Gorgonix. And well, um, honestly, we try to make a deck with just these cards, but it doesn't really you know, work. We were playing the Gorgonix and we just try to use them as a engine for a rock stun deck. The, although this this um, rock stun deck is more um, of a exceed and then like stun, and we'll we'll just start like telling you what what we used. Uh, we used one Gorgonix Cerberus because the requirement of normal summon it it's really too big, so I just you know it's like an optional effect. That's why we just play one and for like easy run please and you know whatever we can. This card is good as well because it's a um, level three special summon whenever you special summon a rock, so you can combo it with like the normal summon of this guy or this guy, go into any rank three. Usually, you know, we can play the Gorgani guard just to destroy something, but you can go into Wind of Zen mains or Alucard, Levier, twenty um to, uh, seventeen, and then um, has a golem. Why? Because it's rock, so we can use it as fodder for the next card that we're going to show you. Since this is a deck, uh, a rock deck, um, the obligatory mega rocks. Here I'm playing three because it's easy to go into rank sevens with this card, and we're playing one um, Redux as well because yeah, uh, we're we're playing uh, rank sevens. Like a big guy, Dracosac, and the number 74, which actually are pretty good calls and really easy to like go into with these guys. Um, this is the three and seven engines. Um, now we're gonna show you the five, the four engine. Um, one fossil Dinah, just in case. Uh, one revival golem and two tackle crusaders. We're taking those cards in because of the field that we're gonna show you later. But uh, those uh, allow you to do either uh, easy um, rank fours with Revival Golem, and this one like lets you flip a monster face down, so you can, you know, counter attack and extend with something if it's too big. And we're playing uh, Kokimerus, the Guardian Salmon and Wall, to each for the tribes affecting spells. They are really good and honestly, uh, when I was playing these guys, uh, I didn't really need to use MSTs or anything, so uh, on the test, you know, it's actually were better than uh, playing MST, so I don't play MST. Uh, for the spells, uh, we have um, the field, catapult zone. What it does is, um, when a monster you control will be destroyed, if it's a rock, um, I mean, you can just send any rock monster, and what we you send is either this guy or this guy, so you get easy, easy things with these guys. And, uh, duality. We're playing three Kaiser Coliseums because once you get any of the big things or cause a dying on the field and your opponent needs to special summon something to get rid of, they are really locked on it. Plus we have a lot of back row, so you can actually control the game with one monster and dark hole. Uh, for the traps, it's a really extensive lineup. Uh, we play Warning, Torrential, Bottomless, Compulsory, and one Dimensional Prism. Just for, you know, whatever we need. As for removal and counter. And we play two Release of Stone because getting to these guys or like. Um, Falling into a bottom trap hole, it's actually not as bad now with this card for the rock monsters and this Mirror Force 2. And the next card is uh, Threaten Roar. You know, uh, just so you can get a little bit more control or uh, to make a setup for a turn, then you go into whatever. You will see on the deck, I actually was very um, content with the deck. 
although um, even though we tried to play the Gorgonix, it doesn't really play as much. I really like this card though, it, it helps a lot with the effect in the graveyard, so you can, let's see, no, no, don't be afraid of like any back row and just do your plays with ease. Um, Type of Crusader does the same thing, but you won't really, you won't really use the other effect because you don't, you don't really um, need any protection in your opponent's turn. Uh, as for the monsters, um, we could uh, Pearl, um, Utopia, Zemdarwolf, Mastrook, and Gaga Cowboy. Just you know, kind of staples. Um, we're probably gonna take out this for Arc, for the um, Arc Knight, I think it is. I don't remember. I'm not really updated with that card, but yeah, I know it's good. And we could actually be playing one of those. But yeah, that's pretty much the deck, and I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any suggestions on how to play this deck better or make it, you know, different, it's up to you. Cause you know, I just, we will just build it for fun and to see if we can come up with something that. Uh, this is fun if it's not competitive. And um, I don't know if Parker has any other things to do, but if not, then I'll see you guys in the next preview. See you later.